Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 380. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. So, we got a few news this week, and they're pretty interesting, they're pretty interesting. Um, Well, let's not dilly-dally and let's get right into it. So, anywho, first news is... The Dutch My Little Pony Season 9 episode dump was actually a leak. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if I reported on this a while back ago. But yeah, um, all of the second half of Season 9 was released in the Netherlands, was it? So anywho, uh, yeah, all of that episode were out and... Quote unquote season 9 is over in the uh, what was it Netherlands and something like that yeah and it's actually not well how to put this they didn't mean to they only meant to push out a few episodes like yeah uh, here's the thing um, they, they only meant to upload 13 episodes yesterday yeah but somehow they accidentally dumped all of it and yeah, now they have pulled it down, but the damage has been done, and yeah, it's out there for the world to consume. <clears throat> Mind you, that all of this are in Dutch, so uh, let's see, let's see, yeah, uh, so there's no English version of it out, unless they do the what China did thing, I, I'm not 100% sure, but still. That's troubling enough, and I'm guessing someone's gonna get school at wherever channel this is. But uh, here's the other thing: um, the show is still going to be out early in some part of the countries. Like, uh, let's see, uh, the the leaks shows like this continues its conquest, while Australia is officially releasing uh, the episode away soon. So, um, we'll still have quote-unquote leaks and whatnot, but in this situation here, it's not really a leak, but more of a official release in other countries. Yeah, whatever it is. Uh, it seems that all of it here, uh, yeah, oh, okay, well, let's see, season 9, uh, episode 3, um, yeah, most of it are going to be rerun, some of it are going to be new. Uh, let's see, yeah. Uh, trivial Pursuits that we got. Uh, the Summer Sun Setback was last week. And this week is going to be She Talks to Angels. Then, uh, August 29. August 29. August 29 was a few days ago. Yeah, it was like two days ago, whatever it is, when this episode was recording. Dragon Dropout. Yeah, that one I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, don't think so. But anywho, a lot of the episodes are kind of spoiled which is kind of sucks <coughs> and in in reality how how can you call it spoil when it's officially aired in other countries eh, it's one of those topsy-turvy things where it's kind of hard to debate yet defend eh, lucky you if you live in those countries but with all of season 9 being Release and being what you call this um, release and spoil or leak, whatever you want to call it, comes a backlash. And here's the thing um, this is not going to be in fun news, but um, with the leaks that came out, a lot of people were angry and they had one target in mind, and that's Big Jim. And uh, he has gotten a lot of death threats and whatnot, like a lot of negative feedback went his way on his Twitter. And the thing is, I know some fans can get really passionate about their uh, what you want to call this fandom, and they can get really passionate about the things that they like like episodes and whatnot, and yeah, you do have the right to be angry, but you do not have the right to scream and shout and 
do death threats to people. It's just a show. Calm down, relax. But <coughs> anyway, um, it, with this here, like I, I'm just gonna read it verbatim by Sophisto. Uh, as most of you know by now, the rest of the season has officially released in the Netherlands. With that came some trolling and attacks on the show staff. Director Big Jim Miller, in particular, was hit pretty hard with death threats and a host of other nastiness. So he was forced to lock his Twitter account. So yeah, I I seen what he wrote on his Twitter, and yeah, that's not fair on him. That's not fair on him. With any project, with any work, or with any commission works. He doesn't have the final say. He is just the director. He's just pushing it along where the company or the client, which is Hasbro, wants the show or wants the product to go. And in this scenario here, Big Jim is just doing his job. Like it or not, he is just doing his job. It is unfair for fans to call bloody murder on him because well he's just doing his job like the guy at the mcdonald's or the guy at the cashier at any um convenient um s store like they're just doing their job they're not in charge of well technically they're in charge for big jim here he's in charge but technically he's just doing a job and doing it the best he can within the construction of his well clients like whatever the client wants that's what he has to do <coughs> and we all get really passionate about show and whatnot some of us say that uh the ending sucks or oh no redo it i don't like it and stuff like we're not really entitled to this like I I know me saying this sounds like preaching, but you know what? Just enjoy. Enjoy it. Like, remember it for the good times and just enjoy the ride. Like, be glad that this show has run its course or enjoy for how long that it's been around. Could you just imagine... My Little Pony's being around for, what, nine years now? In all honesty, they didn't believe in the product. They wanted to kill it in season three. Enough for syndications. But somehow, we the fans prove to Hasbro that, hey, we love this show and we want more of it. And in all honesty, I would love a season 10. Like, make it a decade of ponies. Yay, go us. But uh, all good things must come to an end. And we had a lot of awesome people working on the show from Sipsy who did the storyboards, from Larson who did the script writing for Lauren Faust who, well, practically built the world and whatnot. And we got Megan who, Megan McCartney that is, who started the whole thing and whatnot. I mean, we had a lot of awesome people work on the show. And Big Jim is one of those awesome people. And for him to get the brunt of the, well, negative comments and whatnot, it's not fair. That's what I think. And I think I'm just running around in circles right about now. So um, what EQD is doing is um, this sparks a massive campaign to thank him for all the awesome work he did for us over the last decade hashtag thank you Jim and hashtag thank you big Jim are what you want to use oh, sorry want to use on your preferred well, preferred social media platform while it's primarily a Twitter thing feel free to do whatever your hashtag works <coughs> let's show big Jim all of the other people at DHX and Hasbro that we appreciate their motivation to take the show that 
could have been another very bad toy commercial towards a place where it ended up being one of the greatest of our time. And you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to thank Big Jim and everybody working on the show. Thank you so much for creating this awesome show. In all honesty, this show has... <laughs> it's going to be a bit cliche, but it has affected my life in a very positive way. I've known awesome people, I've talked to awesome people, and the show has brought those awesome people to me. <clears throat> and believe it or not, this show has a wide and broad reach. I know that you guys can look at the tracking of where the show is being shown and whatnot but because of the show this podcast or this YouTube channel whatever you want to call it exists because of this because of your show I have gotten to meet good friends and because of this show I've gotten to do the thing that I've always wanted to do for the longest time which is make a podcast, create a podcast. And no joke, this podcast has been going on for almost what? Um, let me get my calculator. I'm bad. I think it's six to seven years now. Um, uh, give me a second. Yeah, seven years. <clears throat> so, like I mentioned before, seven years of this podcast. And in all honesty, I don't know if I'm going to stop or if I don't know it will s ever stop. So thank you so much, guys. Hasbro, DHX, Jim, thank you so much for just giving me an outlet, just doing this awesome w show. Uh, I, I really like it and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. So anywho... Um, on to other uh, news that doesn't involve me going to cry. <coughs> uh, no, what's this? Oh yeah, good thing. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, up next is IDW, My Little Pony short comic box available to order through your local comic shop. Yay! <coughs> so, what you see here is a storage box for comics. And... What is it used for? Well, the, is the word it says for itself. It's a place to keep your comics. And how do I want to put this? If you're a comic book collector, you want to keep your comic books in a pristine spot, in a location, or, you know, just keep them where you can take good care of them. Uh, the company BCW has created that this, the My Little Pony mm, storage box. And I've checked out. They do a lot of this kind of products, like storage and whatnot. <coughs> Give me a second, folks. Oh, I'm going to grab... I'm going to swig off water. Mm. Oh, boy. <coughs> Sorry, like I was saying. BCW is known for their storage compartment things. They did card games, comic books, uh, collectibles, and so on. Uh, if we take a look see at their website, um, let's see if I can check it out. Mm, it's not here. Uh, it's not there. Maybe I can check it out on BCW. BCW. Okay, let's go to the website, we see the supplies. <coughs> and yes, they do a lot of collectible protection thingies from your um, vinyl music, coin, currency, memorabilia, games, card, trading cards, and comic books. So, what they do is they... Oh, Mother Celestia. <laughs> Sorry about that. What they do is they just get everything protected uh, 
it, there's nothing more I can say. Like if you're a card game guy, you'll know what's this. They, you you fold your own box, you put your cards in there, yay. Um, and for comic books, it's the same and whatnot. So basically, it is what you call this a place. Yeah. Now it's pony fights. <laughs> uh boys, I am off track and off kilted. But anyway, yeah. Um, now they have this. This is gonna be awesome and yay! Uh, much awesomeness, much awesomeness. Um, fun fact about the comics, from what I heard, is that um, the My Little Pony comics are banned in Malaysia. From a friend that of mine told me, the only reason of that is is because of um, Scootaloo's ant. Something to do with them being an item. Um, this is just from what I heard my friend said, and I call it rather preposterous. It's <coughs> idiotic at the same time too, but who knows? Um, that's what I heard. I'm not sure if it's true or not. And if it's true, that's just poppycock. And if it's false, then yay, more comics, I guess. So anywho, let's get on to, well, my week. What have I been doing and whatnot. So this week has been interesting. My voice, if you hear, I'm not 100% sure if you notice it or not, is that I'm having a sore throat. It's kind of strange because it's on and off where sometimes it hurts so I have to take medicine and when it clears away I don't feel the sore throat anymore and it's strange. Let's just say strange. But um, besides my health issues let's see um, this week has been rather interesting. Um, haven't been doing much about movie entertainment did, did I mention I just watched Battle Alita Battle Angel yeah I, I watched that recently it's pretty interesting it's yeah it, it's interesting and it's a fun movie and from what I understand the comic or the manga is not even done what we saw in the movie was just the first chapter. So, yeah. That's going to be interesting. Not sure if they're going to carry or not sure if they're going to make a sequel or whatever it is. So we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. And besides that, um, more Magic the Gathering. Yay! I, I love playing Magic the Gathering. What can you say? Uh, what can I say? What can I say? Cardboard. Cardboard. I love to play with cardboard. Yay. <laughs> so anywho, um that's been my week. So yay, much fun. So anywho, um let's get right on to the end. So shall we? If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also sorry. <laughs> Um, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And stay to radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. You can also subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and stay to radio. Over there you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Cypher Heart Song, and also Torterra reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and whatever else is in between. Sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies. And right now, we're kind of focusing on a Patreon request, which is the My, <laughs> Sorry. The My Little Academia. My anime. We're going to review that for now. Um, the, the idea is we're just going to review half of it and then a bit of more pony or other contents in between and then we'll just do the other half of it later on so that's the generalized plan for now other than that uh, let's see uh, yeah, other than that nothing much so yeah um we we do animes too yay 
maybe we'll do video games soonish. I, I'm not sure. We'll, that we'll see. But that's for the future, I guess. <coughs> so anyway, um, talking about Patreons, right? If you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky9, Starstream, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So I remember uh, Lucky Knight attending, what was this, uh, Alley Corn in Australia. And he got to meet a lot of the fans and also Nicole Oliver, who plays Princess Celestia slash Cheerly. So that's awesome on you, dude. I've noticed. Don't think I don't. I noticed it. And yeah, awesome, man. Like, yay, much fun. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And this has been the NBS show. And I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBS show. See ya.